hope you all are doing well so as you've seen in the intro guys we're going to be reviewing the CRKT Pazoda knife and just to let you know now that case you saw in the beginning in the intro if you watched it I'll be doing a review on that next week sometime I got that to put all of my knives in because right now they're just all sitting in a drawer and I'm tired of them moving around but yeah anyways guys next week we'll do a review on that and then I'll do another video and show you all every knife that is in that case I won't do a review on the knives because that's all on my channel here in my playlist called knives and gear reviews but let's get to this. That's enough yapping. This is the little CRKT Pazoda. This is a frame lock knife. Little folding pocket knife. Let's get in a little closer here so you guys can see this thing. And here we go. So the total length of this knife is 5.1 inches. You guys can see it is fairly tiny it's a small little knife the handle itself is three inches the blade is roughly two and a quarter inches the handle material on this is just a stainless steel it's like a steel handle let me get my hand out of the way and try to show that a little bit better for you and it's got a finish on it that's called a steel nit nitride or nitrate finish. I think it was, no, it's nitride, my mistake. I'm probably butchering that word, but as you can see, design on that side and that steel nitride finish. And then on the other side, you got, it's like a darker, like the blade itself. Maybe that's the steel nitride finish they were talking about. But you got it on that side. It's darker and it matches matches the knife blade itself. As you guys can see, you got a really deep carry pocket clip, which I like in a knife. It is tip down carry, as you can see. It is not reversible or anything. But I do like how they got the clip flush at the top of the handle I think that's really cool so with that said let's look at the blade as you guys can see it's a little oval hole there that's how you open it if you have smaller hands you could probably open this fairly quick it's a little difficult for me because my hands are so long and slanky I managed but Keep in mind, this is a really small pocket knife, guys. So again, you got that same finish as you have on the back of the knife handle. It's that steel nitride finish on there. It is just a regular 8CR13 MOV steel with a Rockwell hardness of 56 to 59. I don't know if I mentioned this guys this is a frame lock design as you can see right there let's see if we can get a little closer so I could show that to you it's about as close as we can get now this sits on a you're probably not going to be able to see that can you see that white down in there it's just a like Teflon or plastic pivot Keep in mind, this is a fairly cheap knife. It's not expensive. On CRKT's website, it's listed at 30 bucks. I think that's too much for this. But on Amazon, you can get it for $14.50. And you can see the lockup. I'll show you the, where it says Pizzota on there. It's a very neat looking little knife. It's not bad. It's I've had this for about, oh, I don't know, 12, 15 years now. 
and never had any problems with it. There's no blade play up and down or back and forth in that. You can see CRKT written on that side. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of patina on that thing. I've owned this for a long time, and I do use it a lot. It's a great little knife. I wouldn't pay 30 bucks for it, but I do think it's worth 15 14 50 15 bucks. I will link that below in the description. I will put the link to this on Amazon. And again, guys, I do not get compensated in any way for that. If you were to click the link and buy the knife or look at it, I get no compensation whatsoever. So I think that pretty much covers everything. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a piece of paper. I'm going to pause this and we'll just do a little quick cut test. It came sharp. I've never had a problem keeping it sharp. It's easy to sharpen because it's somewhat of a cheaper blade. Somewhat of a cheaper steel on the blade, I mean. But yeah, let me pause this, get a piece of paper, we'll do a little cut test, and we'll end this video. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm not going to be paying attention here. I'm going to be looking at the knife. I don't want to cut myself, so if this is out of focus, I apologize. Let's do the usual little sharp test. It isn't as sharp as some of my other knives. I can feel it pulling a little bit. And it's a little bit rough going through the paper. I mean, it does work. It's just a basic EDC knife, guys. Just for cutting, like, boxes and paper and stuff like that. You're not going to do any bushcrafting with this little guy. It's just for everyday tasks at an office or something like that. It's sharp, it will cut, it's just not as sharp as some of my other knives are. You can kind of hear it, it's kind of pulling a little bit. And it feels a little rough going through the paper. But yeah, I think that's it. Stay tuned, next week, probably do them reviews on the case and show you guys all the knives I have in my collection. Uh, I do have one more knife I need to review, and that is an old Openel, number 6, I believe it is. That will probably be this Saturday when that goes up. So stay tuned. Again, hope you guys are all doing well, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.